whispering alleyways of Yezi. Father, I committed sin. I was covered with blood and the cow were chasing me. I was so scared. They captured me near Torrione di Mezzogiorno. Uh, Mastro Titta, the boy from Rome. Uh, it's already here for my execution. I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go down those ten stairs. They, they bring dead bodies from there. I don't want to know what they will do to me, Father. Father. I committed sin, Father. From the 13th century, the Jewish ghetto represented the small Jewish community of Yezi and it is characterized by narrow alleys and a synagogue which dates from 1535. Only the facade remains. The Jewish community developed the craft of jewelry making in the city, setting up their shops in Via degli Orifici, literally Goldsmiths Row. Nowadays, we can find some of the most prestigious jewelers there. Palazzo Colocci was one of the residents of Angelo Colocci, a nobleman born in Yesi in 1474. It is said that Michelangelo worked here as a date 1563 suggests. In the same square we can see Palazzo della Signoria, which was built by the famous architect Francesco di Giorgio Martini. It was the residence of the governor. Next door is the Salara, where salt was stored. In the main entrance you can see the standard measures of the 15th century. Yezi was a Roman site so it has the typical road structure with the intersection of Cardo and Decumano. We now pass into the zone of Carcerette, where the prison was located. Yesi's court house was known to be ruthless due to the suffering it caused prisoners. According to testimonies, conditions were so awful that incarcerated criminals while starving in those dreary dark cells, were also tormented by the sting and drank sip after sip, the bitter goblet of death. During the Second World War, two bombs fell, destroying buildings and streets. The children continued to play in the bombed areas. In Yezi, they used to make high quality robes for the Navy and for public hangings. Moreover, they made soap, also used to grease the ropes. Walking along the old Roman Decumanon, you'll see a bolt attached to the wall on the right side. It supported a system of chains and represented the last offensive feature for the city until 1508. Built in the 16th century by a poor farmer who became rich, this house was converted into a convent 
and then belonged to the Pianetti family till 1734. Near the house is the beautiful Baroque church of San Bernardo, recently restored. <laughs> 